Okay guys, Building a Better World Scholarship. How do you apply 2020? This video is gonna tell you just how you do it. First off, you gotta go to buildingabetterworld.net. That is where you donate. That is where you apply. That is where you get all the info that you need. Then you just do a little bit of searching. If you look down here, the best place to start is the scholarship itself. The scholarship itself is three separate scholarships, global awareness, community involvement, and independent travel. You write on the separate topics. You may apply for all three. You can only win one, but each is a separate scholarship. So with global awareness, number one, uh, what's your philosophy about being globally aware? Why is it important to be globally aware? Come on, in the middle of what we're in right now, it should be pretty obvious to you that you are a global citizen. You need to, ex you need to explain why it is that that's important and you provide your life plans. What do you plan to do in your life to fulfill what you believe to be a globally aware individual? What do you plan to do at your, at your own personal level, your community level? What do you plan to do in your career? Scholarship number two, community involvement. What have you done in your community to be involved, to volunteer? What do you plan to do in your community to be involved and volunteer in your life? What is your life plan in regards to community involvement? And why does it matter? Why does any of this matter? Finally, independent travel number three. It is my favorite and it is so unique to this scholarship. Come on, we've had people go everywhere with this baby. Why does travel how does travel make you a better global citizen what is it about travel and then you lay out a road trip and then you go on that road trip and baby we've had some freaking road trips first one was back in 2003 i think we gave i think we gave sarah and angie maybe 400 bucks and they went to boston because they wanted to go to the salem witch trial museum they stayed one night in Niagara Falls. It was their first road trip out of the state. They drove the whole way. Um, it was uh, life-changing for them. Nick Waldo flew to Kitty Hawk solo. He used his $600 that we provided him to fill the gas tank of the plane. It was his first independent flight. And then he walked on the tarmac at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. That's pretty cool. We've had people go to the Philippines, Travis Simmons with his grandma. We've had people go to the Grand Canyon. Merrick brought road horses out in Montana. We had a gal go and search her roots. Tiana Friday in China, she's adopted and she went back to the village from whence she came. McKenna Whipple is our poster child for this McKenna Whipple took her dad. She went to Tanzania and worked at an orphanage for three weeks. It changed her life. She changed her major. She changed her direction. She changed her goals. She changed her entire life on that three weeks in Tanzania. And she's going back. Last year, we had two winners in 2019. A pair of girls have planned to go to Nepal to explore women's rights at a women's shelter in Kathmandu. Haley Jennings and her mom are gonna to go to Bangkok and work at an orphanage, volunteer at an orphanage, and then they're gonna meet the gal that was their foreign exchange student tune way back when. And so this independent travel thing, this independent travel thing is really, really, really cool. Let's take a look at this thing right here, frequently asked questions. I think this is going to give you a lot of information on what you need to know in being successful here. So let's start with who donates to Building a Better World Scholarship. All sorts of folks donate to Building a Better World Scholarship. Teachers, lots of teachers at the high school and the middle school level and all over the district. This right here, this is what I really like. Look at all the people who have donated that have won in the past. From 2003 and five, that's our first donor. Amber Hoagland was our first winner and she donates. Um, we have all of the people in 2010 
Nisa and Shelby and Ariel donate every single year. We had all of the people in 2014 donate in last year. We had all the people in 2017 donate. And you know, it doesn't matter what you donate. You don't have to, it's not required. But the fact that these people are, and sometimes it's 10 bucks, sometimes it's 20 bucks, sometimes it's more than that. Sometimes it's 50 or 100, but it doesn't matter how much. It's just the fact that you do. Look at this. Look at the community. Look at all the people in the community that support this thing. And then the businesses. We, we really, really, really covet the businesses in Muskegon area and support those that come out and support you. And so this is a big deal. You're representing all these people and you're helping them. You're showing them how to build a better world. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. We talked about, number two, what three scholarships make it up. And about multiple scholarships, yes, you absolutely may apply for all three. We've had people apply for all three. You can only win one. Is grammar and spelling important? Absolutely it's important. This is an essay. You need to edit it and edit it and edit it. We're talking about a possible $3,000 scholarship with a lot of competition. And so you need to roll your sleeves up and do your best because, number seven, we have a panel of about a dozen judges that meet one day in May every year. They are taken from all over the Dorner Pool. We have teachers, retired and current. We have middle school and high school. We have business owners. We have community members. We have past winners on the board. And so... Uh, we sit down for three or four hours to determine what two or three or four winners will have. If you're in early college or in the promise, you may win this scholarship and you get to keep it. What we do is we hold it for you in the bank until you're out of MCC and then we kick it to you when you can use it. Not all scholarships do that. What you should write about is that you should be personal. You should personalize it. We're not looking for a 4.0 student. We're not looking for a perfect essay here. What we're looking for is you, your heart and your soul. That's what we want to see. That is what we want to see. It needs to be edited out, but don't think you've got to be a four-point student with great writing skills to win this. That's not it. That's not it. It's what kind of ideas and what kind of goals and what kind of dreams do you have? And are you really going to build that better world? How much money is in each scholarship? This is a biggie. Well, we started with, I think, 900 bucks, three $300 scholarships back in 2003. Last year, we gave out four 2250s, 10,000 bucks last year. In, in, in 17 years, we have given out over $70,000 to 52 students. So even though that this year is going to be affected by COVID-19. We're shooting for 10,000 bucks. So roll your sleeves up and do a good job. Am I required to donate? No, you're not. But man, it is really cool that we have so many people that have donated. And anybody that wins can be on the committee that decides who is the uh, winner for that year. What other stuff is on this site at the Please Donate site? Take a look right here. This is a perfecto article that was in the Muskegon Chronicle, Sunday, August 14th, 2016. It features McKenna and Savannah because they won that year. And it also features Victoria Mueller, who went and visited Toon and Bam in Thailand. And it's, it's a great article to give you a really cool insight into the scholarship in both all three girls and what they've done with that scholarship. So, so that is very cool. What other things do we have here? Um, we have all of the pictures of the past winners. If you look right here, there's Maddie. She's at Michigan. Haley's at, uh, where is she? She's down at, or, uh, yeah, she's down at Lake Michigan Ketchum. Nicole's at Oakland. Um, Hannah is at MCC and Andy and Kennedy and Shayna and Sonny are 2018 winners. And then separate pictures of them. All of these people have won this scholarship and you can be a part of that group. And ain't that a cool thing? 
That's what we want. So that's about it. We want you to apply for this scholarship. We want you to win this scholarship. We want you most of all to build a better world. That's what we want. And we want you to stay with us until the end and carry it on and help Oak Ridge kids get out there and, and make this a better planet. That's our goal. That's what we've been doing since 2003. That's what we're gonna do in 2020. You can be a part of it. Write yourself a hell of an essay, turn it in, and then fulfill those things you said so that this planet gets better.